Hey everyone and welcome to another Let's Max Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at a weapon requested recently and that is for me to go back and do an updated video on the Tenno Tompers, the Cronin. Now the Cronin were the first out of its class, released nearly three years ago now. So I think it's fairly safe to say that my video on them might be slightly out of date at this point. You can pick up the weapon blueprint from the market for 65,000 credits. It's actually pretty cheap to build. Probably the only thing that might take a couple of runs of farming is the two Argon crystals you're going to need. So with that low cost, what are you getting from the weapon when you finally get to claim it from the foundry? Well, it has a decent base damage of 65. The majority of that comes in the form of slash, and then you've got a dab of impact and puncture. The supporting stats really show where you're going to be going for in terms of modding though. 5% crit chance, 1.5 times multiplier means you're not really going to be modding this for a conventional crit build. Although maiming strike is always an option, especially when this has one of the highest slide attack damages in the game. But we're going to talk a little bit about that later when we come to builds. 20% status chance though means you're going to be proccing status fairly often. Especially with its 1.08 attack speed. And that really is not bad at all. The best thing about this is you can stack status pretty quickly. And that means condition overload is a fantastic option on the Cronin. The stance obviously makes a bit of a difference to the weapon as well. Uh, to the Cronin, my choice is Sovereign Outcast. The right click hold combo Rogue Edict is not only quick, also has two double damage AoE attacks and a guaranteed slash proc in there. This means you have some nice crowd clearing ability followed by a guaranteed slash proc and that is going to trigger some extra damage from condition overload. In terms of the way I'm going to build the weapon though, it's really going to depend on how you want to use the weapon to be honest. If we're going to take advantage of the slide attack damage then a crit build would work well for you. Especially because red crit multipliers make up with a low base crit chance. I added two formats to the weapon, both of them are these, and because of the fact we don't need to care about the stance as we're going to be slide attacking anyway, I've got Gemini Cross in there for the extra capacity. Then I've got Prime Pressure Point, Blood Rush and Drifting Contact for that crit chance and obviously the um, combo multiplier. Maiming Strike to bring the crit chance up to 95% on the slide attack. Condition Overload to help boost the damage when we proc something, which we're going to be doing about 30% of the time. Um, organ Shatter for crit damage and then Prime to reach to help land those slides. Now I know there's no elementals on here and that's because Condition Overload is actually going to give more overall damage than elemental combos will. We're relying very heavily on our slash procs here to deal with those heavy units and putting on elemental mods are going to dilute the chance that we actually have of those slash procs. And it's the slash proc scaling we're relying on here for our maiming strike build. We've got a really weird spot in the game at the moment where we're running out of room on our weapons for things like elemental mods. Every mod on this build is too important to the build to drop sadly. But this build does get even stronger if you combine it with Naramon and all its perks as well. The second build is a more conventional condition overload build. The two former I put on allows us to have Sovereign Outcast as our stance. Even though it doesn't give us the extra capacity. But it's a better stance overall in my opinion. Then we've got Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fury, Condition Overload, Drifting Contact, and then all four dual stat elementals in whatever combo you want. Gas Magnetic, Viral Radiation, or Corrosive Blast. This means we're going to be proccing a lot of things, and we're going to proc them reliably. It really stacks up that additional Condition Overload uh, damage, and pushes the damage output of the Cronin way higher. It's probably my preferred build for it, as I would rather leave Maiming Strike up to things with more range, but it is going to be all down to your playstyle. So what do I think of the Cronin? Do I like it? Do I think it's worth maxing out? And honestly, I do kind of think it is. As a Maiming Strike weapon, like I was just saying, I think it falls down just a little bit. Personally, I find the range to be too short. I am forever sliding and completely missing the attack, because the range just isn't enough for me to find it reliable enough to use. I do know a lot of people use it as a maiming strike weapon to take advantage of that Cronin's, uh, the crazy slide attack damage that it's got, but it's not, it's just not one that I think is good enough to me to use personally. I'm a huge fan of the second build though, the condition overload full status build, it to me is pretty amazing. The procs really allow the weapon to last way longer into more end game content. Whether it's halving enemies health with viral, stripping shields with magnetic or stripping their armor with corrosive. Those procs on their own are ridiculously useful, but then combine that with the insanity that is condition overload, and you have a weapon that stacks up the extra damage super quickly, even on the toughest of targets, and can kill them very, very quick. 
I like the Cronin a lot. It looks incredible and with either build you can make it super effective as well. If you were looking for ribbons for this, I would definitely be looking at range and maybe slide attack chance. Um, the slide attack uh, chance for the slide attack to be a crit. With how strong the disposition on the Cronin is, you can actually replace Mamie Strike with a slide attack chance ribbon pretty easily. Plus damage, plus range, plus crit damage, plus status chance, uh, plus status duration. All be really useful on here. Um, I would definitely be looking for a maiming strike style ribbon with maybe range and status. That would be my ideal ribbon for a, the, the maiming strike build on this. For the second build that I've got though, this full status condition overload build, I would go with range status chance to replace a 60% mod with a 90% would be good. Status duration again, plus damage, plus attack speed. There's a bunch of options for either build here, to be honest, and it's going to depend on your playstyle as to which you're going to want. But to sum it up, the Chrono looks amazing and performs pretty dang well. I'd say it's worth another shot. Give it a look and see what you think. As always, though, many thanks for watching. Thank you all for the support, and I shall see you in the next video.